Hey gang, so when last we checked in, we were working on this pattern right here. Uh, essentially moving this cool kind of uh, four beat weave back and forth across the body. Um, I told you in that video that you should also work on doing it with your left hand up high. And the reason for that will become clear in this video, because we're going to use these two together essentially to create something that looks a bit like a flower, uh, mainly because it is. But um, in order to do that, we're also going to have to shift which hand is on top as we're going through this pattern. Um, so here's how we're going to go about doing that. First and foremost, remember how we thought of this pattern as essentially being something like a four beat, where I'm getting my thumb pinky down on each side, thumb pinky down on the front side, thumb pinky back side, thumb pinky front side, yeah? Um, we are going to essentially shave off one of these sides and use it to get from top to bottom. Here's how. We're still going to think that we've got a thumb and pinky bead on the back side, but as we're going with our thumb here, rather than continuing to turn it, we're actually going to stop it for a second and have our hand go around it, and then we're going to go thumb, pinky back behind us, yeah? So from up top, we have the thumb goes behind, the pinky goes behind. As the thumb's going down in front, we reverse it around so that it's essentially uh, the hand isolating around uh, the double staff head, and then we bring it thumb and down and around, pinky and down and around, yeah? Um, so what that looks like when we put the two of them together is as we're reaching in the front here, we switch over to the left hand staff being on top, yeah? And of course, when we want to get back up, um, it becomes a matter of, once again, uh, waiting for that second beat. And in this case, it's, it's going to be the, the pinky beat that we're going to work off of. As it's going out from behind us, we're going to isolate around and then bring the thumb end back behind our backs, yeah? So think of it as, as you're going from top to bottom, you're isolating around the thumb end. As you're going from bottom to top, you're isolating around the pinky end. When going from top to bottom, you're isolating around the thumb end. When you're going from bottom to top, you're isolating pinky end, yeah? So we wind up with something that looks a bit like this if we just want to switch it back and forth. And you'll note that as I'm doing these switches, the staves are moving from being around on the same side of my body, like both of them being on the back side, both of them being on the front side, to they move in between my hands in order to make that transition, yeah? Um, and that is a skill that will come to serve us as we move them across our body, too. So now that we know how to switch them in place like that, uh, we can take what we learned last week about moving them across our body, like, say, as I'm performing this with my right hand on top, I'm going to turn the upper part of my body over to the left and use what I know about changing which hand is high to then move my left hand high, like so. Again, we're going to move across my body and we're going to use that moment when the uh, right hand pinky end is out to switch which staff is on top and continue on our merry way, yeah? Again, we bring it across, and as we're over here on this side, it's thumb end, pinky end, go out, to bring the left side, uh, the left hand high. We can bring it back across, woo! And from here, we wait for left pinky, right, or rather, right, right pinky, left thumb to go out, so we can switch to the right hand being on top. And if you do this real rapid fire, thinking, okay, right hand on top as we go across, then left hand on top as we go across, then right hand on top as we go across, left hand on top as we go across, right hand on top as we go across, left hand on top as we go across, right hand on top as we go across, left hand on top as we go across. What you'll notice is we wind up performing an anti-spin flower here, in split opposites. I want to say that this is like an eight petal. I don't know for sure. Uh, if the double staff theorists out there can let me know for certain, that'd be lovely. 
I think it's either an 8 or a 10. I'm not sure. Um, we could also go the opposite way instead. So uh, from that position where we have uh, our right-hand staff on top, instead of switching over here on the left side, we can instead switch over here on the right side, bringing that right thumb and left pinky end together and switching to the left hand being on top, carrying that across, and then using the, I think it's the right thumb end and left pinky end again, yep, to get the right hand on top. Woo, good morning. Switch over to the right hand side and switch to left on top, switch over to the left hand side of the body, switch to the right hand on top. You do this one in rapid fire, Ooh. it comes to look like an inspin flower instead, where you're kind of reaching over your shoulders every time you go across your body, like so. It's just an easy way for you to take something that you already know and translate it into something a little different, if you so choose. Yeah? Anyway, uh, thank you guys for watching, and uh, have yourselves a great week. I will be back with uh, another tutorial for you in another two weeks. Peace. This video right here was made thanks to the kind contributions of these folks right here. They found me at patreon.com slash drexfactorpoi and signed up to make a contribution every month. By doing so, they got access to a whole bunch of extra footage from the videos that I put out every month, plus which a number of really awesome rewards. If you or anybody that you know has learned something from one of the videos that I've put out, please consider going to patreon.com slash drexfactorpoi and signing up to be a supporter. Thank you.